I want to actually be able to tell my story and like how I've overcame like the struggles and now I'm going to be successful. I don't know. I like to share my story sometimes. Like I, I've always, I want to be involved in stuff like this because I want like kids to know that like it's gonna be okay. And, like, in our society, victims of abuse, neglect, and abandonment who really are without a voice. For children that are in dependency, that are in foster care, they've been abused, abandoned, neglected. And I didn't have my mom, my mom was locked up and then my dad was, I don't even know. Um, I came from, my parents are drug addicts and everything, and I as well was one too. Um, I'm in recovery now though. But, uh, Volunteers in the Guardian Ad Litem program really become a voice for the voiceless, a voice for the most defenseless, sometimes the weakest, the most vulnerable among us. And how can any of us shut our hearts, shut down ourselves to children around us who have those kinds of needs? I was actually gonna drop out when I turned 16. I, I wanted so bad to be with my dad, but that's just because I was very like, I was very close with him, but at the same time, my dad was using and he was homeless. Like I knew that I couldn't be with him and they, not that they would make sure that I wouldn't have my family in my life, but they were making sure that he didn't get brought back into a bad environment again. I, I really didn't trust anybody. I didn't like, you know, talk to anybody. I just stayed to myself and was doing I went through a phase for myself where I ran away from my group home. In the Leiden program that first and foremost we are for the child. We are appointed by the court system um, for children that are in dependency, that are in foster care, they've been abused, abandoned, neglected. Um, we are a, our own entity that is appointed to be the eyes for the core, ears for the core, and the voice for the children. We advocate for them out of passion and desire for them to be safe and loved and have the most opportunities they can to enjoy, enjoy their childhood. We're all about the child um, and doing whatever we need to as a team to make sure they get what they need and what they deserve. Not that I had a guardian at Lightum. I had one that was very involved. I was in rehab when I first went to care. She would pick me up and she would take me to go do yoga. She was a very good support system for me. She always stuck by my side and I knew that she would be there. Kids have like nothing and you could be that somebody that could change their life around and help them choose to do better. I feel like you could be the one that could change that person. Children's lives who have literally been rescued because an adult cared enough to take a little bit of time, spend a little bit of money, think about a child and do for someone in need what we would all want somebody to do for us if we were in that same position. There are actually four ways that you can help Guardian Ad Litem. First and foremost, you can volunteer with our program. Volunteers are advocates for the children and meet with the children once a month and most importantly advocate for them in court. The second way that you can help the program is to be an ambassador. If you can't volunteer with us, please share our message and let other people know about the program. The third way that you can help us is to invite us to speak at your organization or civic group. We have nothing but grassroots marketing. The only way that we can spread the message is by speaking to other people and sharing. The fourth way that you can help us is by your financial donations. We're always in need of any items like diapers, clothing, toys, uh, tablets, anything that a child could use. Um, by financially donating to us, we can make sure that every child has normalcy and has the things that they need and deserve. We speak up sometimes when things are falling through the cracks, when a child needs certain medical advocacy or school advocacy, 
um, things that they need that aren't getting done, we get to help speak up and encourage and make sure that those things are being done. And then as well, sometimes children are in a really great situation and we get to help just make sure that they have everything that they need. Being a guardian ad litem, if you do it right, is not an easy thing. You need to be a person that has a heart for children a person who cares about children, a person who can sometimes even see beyond maybe the moment that looks a little bit dark, but has a brighter side to life and understands that there really is a light at the end of the tunnel and that you can make a difference in another person's life. I think those are really major qualities. I think obviously you need someone who is willing to make an investment. Like doesn't just look at it as like just a job, someone that wants to be more in tune with like the kids and stuff like that, that want to be a support system, want to show them that there's people out there that care about them that are going to be there for them if they don't have parents or something, which is very common. Actually want to make a difference and love one another instead of like, just do a job for the money, you know. So do it because you want to do it and you look like you love to do it. I would say just first and foremost, the desire, the passion to want to be a voice, an advocate for, for the children. Um, if you have that, we can work with you. So as long as you have the passion and desire to help the children, we'll do it as a team. People who have been reunified with families, that's a success story. There are young people who are living now in healthy environments that they were not living in before they were um, unified with a guardian ad litem. That's a success story. There are children who have become adolescents, who have been moved into young adulthood, who are now living prosperous, successful lives. Those are success stories. But they didn't feel that long term that adoption with the relative was the right thing, that they really felt that they needed a family dynamic. We were able to work with the adoption finder um, to listen to what the child really wanted and was looking for. We were able to find him a family. It was everything that he wanted. Really, I feel that Guardian at Lightham was huge in pursuing that avenue for him. I was so far behind, and I was able to graduate. And um, so they gave me an award at the Jackie Robinson's ballpark. Like I was able to be involved in my sister's life because like, that's all I wanted. Like they helped me be able to be in my sister's life and be someone that could be like a very positive person in her life. Mostly my first group home, they were not the best people. And um, we actually kept calling Miss Laura and she eventually got a court date set up to where we could be moved. And my judge put in an emergency placement order and they actually moved somebody out of a room into another room so me and my sister could share a room. We got to be together still and we moved out of the situation we were in at that group home. You know, like JC has definitely helped me when it comes to giving me really good advice. Um, she's real with me about the situation. She doesn't sugarcoat it. Me and her have been like pretty, we got pretty close because of like the ways that we can relate to one another. She's really good about being there. Every time that I reached out to her, she always wanted to come. Like with, I would always end up like running away from it or something. No matter what, she put her foot out there and she was like, just so you know I'm here. Like whenever you're ready, I'm here. I, I can call her up crying. Like I don't cry to nobody but her. Miss Laura is that somebody for me and she is there. Um, I want to see about getting a degree and being with the system, either working at CHS or one day being a GAL. I've always wanted to do that because I want to help kids that are in foster care. I'm going to be a successful social worker. To know that, hey, I have to, in a small way invested in a young life and that I could potentially be making a lasting difference in this child's life. That is a great feeling at the end of the day.